You can use this in your act. How much you get paid for this? I got one for you. Hi, I'm Rob Durham, and these are things you should never say to a comedian. After almost every show, someone wants to tell me something that I can use in my act. Can you imagine going up to a musician after a concert and saying, Hey, I wrote a song that uh, I think you can play. It'll be a hit. I'm a hit maker. And while we appreciate you trying to help, please, it's hard enough to write our own jokes based on our own experiences, let alone the stuff you give us. Like the one or two times I actually tried to use something somebody gave me, they were actually stolen material from another comic. So, you're not helping. People always ask, what do I get paid per show? And I actually tell them, because they're either A, going to feel sorry for me, or B, be impressed. And everything in between. So, we make from zero dollars, I've made up to a thousand. There. Everything in between. It depends. The, I know for sure the pay has not increased in 20 years. Uh, to open or middle a show still pays the same as it did back in 2000 when I started at almost every club, if not less. So, our profession sucks. So, don't ask. You don't ask doctors how much they make in a year. Don't ask us, because it's depressing. You ever listen to Red Skelton? I don't know what it is with old white guys asking me about Red Skelton, but no. I respect him. I know he was great, but I don't go home and watch the classics. It's... I don't know why I always get asked that. I, we just don't. All right? Most of us don't. We have our favorites. For some reason, Red Skelton is not one of them. Sorry. You ever thought about being on that show, Last Comic Standing? Yeah, it's that easy. If I could just say, hey, I'd like to be on your show, and they put me on. That's not how it works. In fact, all the people that try out for that are wasting their time because they already have the 12 spots booked before the show even airs. So, yeah, it'd be nice to be on that show for the exposure, but it's not going to happen. I got one for you. This happens every show, too. I don't need to hear a joke. I just got done saying 45 minutes of them. I'd rather not hear one that you heard off the internet or from your racist uncle. I don't know what it is. I, I know you're, you're trying to be funny and, and we all have a good time at the show, but you don't need to be the comedian. Take the night off. That's what we work for. Um, usually if someone tells me a joke, I just nod because I can't hear or understand them anyway. So I just... Can I get a discount on your uh, whatever you're selling? I sell books after my show. I used to sell shirts. And without fail, people will ask for an actual discount on stuff. Do you think as a 42-year-old man, I like standing there and let people walk by me, avoiding eye contact? No, it takes a lot of humility to sell something after a show, no matter what it is. I'm very proud of my books, but still, standing there with my Sharpie is not my favorite part of the night. So when you ask for a discount of that, it's a real slap in the face. You know, we don't get paid very much for performing. I sure don't get paid enough for the books I've written. So please don't ever ask for a discount. It's very insulting. Again, us comics appreciate your support and coming out to shows, and we understand that you don't mean to be offensive, but these are just some tips that I wanted to let you know never to say again to a comic. Also, if you'd like to get into stand-up comedy, check out my book, Don't Wear Shorts on Stage. It's available on Amazon and Kindle. And uh, if you want to see where I'll be performing next, robdurhamcomedy.com. I'll see you next time.